Happening starting this week, the Company Theater presents The Seagull, running the 14th through the 30th at the School of the Arts Black Box Theater. Two of the lead actors with me here this morning, Philip Dietrich and Jess Ruby, the longtime favorite, The Seagull, Chekhov's uh, play, you know, going back more than 100 years. We've seen different spins, kind of modern takes. This is a newer version. So set the stage here uh, about if someone hasn't seen it in a while or has never seen it, what's the plot line? Ooh, the plot line of the seagull. So if you're coming into the seagull fresh, you're going to come into a very real, like, it could happen any day situation where you just have a lovely lake house, a family, some friends, and a play getting put on, and then everything changes. <laughs> uh, real life happens, you know, relationships take over, and it's how everybody deals with those and how they handle it, yeah. And just this, this production in whatever form it is gets rave reviews and it's been going on for so long, different, different cities, different places. The history of this play, the kind of turning point in theater yeah. about being realism and the conversations and the themes, can you describe some of that? Yeah, I think this was one of, if not the first kind of play to change modern theater and change modern acting. Um, it is kind of a slice of life play. Um, we're not doing this big extravagant fairy tale sort of theater like it was before this play. It's very rooted in realism and it's about the text, not the plot. Philip, I'll start with you. What's your role in this? So I'm Constantine. I am a, a an aspiring playwright. My mother is a famous actress and I I'm bitter about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just trying to find my way and I write about my muse, Nina. Yeah, yeah and I play Nina, um, an aspiring actress. Uh, you've written me plays to act in and um, yeah, I have my sights set on fame and glamour. What's your favorite part about doing this, this role? Like I said, the text and just the dialogue is really phenomenal. It's, it's been really fun to dig into the text um, and do all of that subtext, not just what's on the paper, but what's underneath that. Mm -hmm. And Phil, we were talking earlier, I think what's interesting is your approach to a role, whatever show is in. Mm -hmm. If it's a, a newer version or a different take on a classic, you try to stay away from that. Yeah. Uh, before you actually get on stage coming up this weekend. Yeah, I always, you know, whenever I do a show, I don't like to watch any performances of anybody else. I don't like to watch any show, uh, movies, anything like that. I like to find my own way through it. It just bring myself to the show. And then afterwards, I usually go on like a huge binge of a bunch of other projects. Like, oh, that's crazy. I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, they're going through the final touches, getting the tech all ready again, opening this weekend. Go see Philip and Jess and the rest of the cast starting this weekend as the company theater presents Chekhov's The Seagull that is running the 14th through the 30th of this month at School of the Arts Black Box Theater. We've got more information posted with this interview on our homepage at rochesterfirst.com.